animal senses, how animals see, hear, taste, smell, and feel. The smell of survival. Even if an animal is hidden and quiet, its enemies may still find it. That's because its smell can be carried through the air. Many animals just have to sniff the wind to tell what is around. With one whiff, an animal can tell if another is an enemy, a relative, a mate, or a meal. A good sense of smell is very important for survival. If you were a deer, you would not give off any scent for about a week after you were born. This would keep enemies from smelling and finding you hidden in the woods or tall grass. After a week, your mother would lick you all over to remove your scent before leaving you alone. You would have glands in your hoofs that leave a scent trail when you walk. You would always find your mother or other deer by following their scent trails. You would sniff the wind to find out what other animals are nearby, especially before you went out into an open field. Super sniffers. Imagine having a nose over two meters, six and a half feet long, like an elephant's. Not only is it a super sniffer, it's useful for many other things too. An elephant's trunk can suck up and hold enough water to fill two large soda pop bottles, as well as pick up things as big as tree trunks. The male proboscis monkey and male northern elephant seal both have enormous noses. Their huge noses make their voices louder and deeper, which may attract mates and scare off enemies more easily. You can see how the size of your nose affects how you sound. Speak normally and then pinch your nose to make it smaller while you continue speaking. What do you hear? You should find that your voice has slightly higher pitch when your nose is pinched. Not just noses. Nosing around comes naturally to you. But how do animals without noses smell? Insects smell with their antenna, and catfish use their whiskers and barbells for picking up scents on a lake bottom or riverbed. An octopus smells and tastes with its tentacles. When a snake sticks out its tongue, it's collecting scent particles from the air. Say it with a smell. You can tell what mood your friend is in by what she says or how she looks. But what about by the way she smells? Animals use sounds and sights to communicate, but smells are also very important for sending messages. If you've ever smelled the skunk's spray, you probably got the message. Stay away, loud and clear. Read on to find out more about speaking with smells. Animals that live together in groups use smell to identify members of their own group. A mother antelope not only recognizes the scent of her herd, she can also find the special smell of her young within the herd. When a female moth is ready to mate, she releases a special scent to attract a male. Some male moths can smell a female more than five average city blocks away. People put up no trespassing signs when they want other people to stay away. If you were a fox, you would leave smells to warn others not to come near. These animals urinate on trees or rocks around their territory to let other foxes know that the land is occupied. When an ant finds food, it lets other ants know by passing along scent messages with its antenna. The ant also leaves a scent trail between the colony and the food so other ants can find their way.